All right, sir, pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. that were copying errors for him. Oh, never mind. Here they come. What? This is not a jingle. approve the minutes of the town board meeting held on May 2nd, 2012, as for copies posted on the town clerk's bulletin board in the town hall, and the same distributed to each of the town board members. Motion? Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? <coughs> yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair entertain motion that the town board of the town of Windsor appoint Giacchino A. D'Angelo, 8 Split Tree Drive in Windsor, New York, to the town of New Windsor town board effective immediately to fill the vacancy left due to the passing of Susan S. Wyman. I am, honored. I am honored to make that motion, sir. Second. Mrs. Green? Oh, we've got to do the roll call. Councilman Lundstrom? <laughs> yes. 
Councilman Biasati? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Jack? She's going to come down here in front. Did you bring the. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, good. Do solemnly swear to support the Constitution to support the Constitution of the United States of the United States and the Constitution and the Constitution of the State of New York of the State of New York and to fulfill my duties and to fulfill my duties as councilman as councilman in the town of New Windsor in the town of New Windsor according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God congratulations thank you. Thank you. Supervisor to execute change order number two in the amount of $12,850 for the St. Anne Drive Well House Rehabilitation Project as recommended by Magoli Hauser and Etzel Consulting Engineers PC. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Yes. General Tan motion to Town Board of Town of Windsor authorized the town engineer to prepare map plan and report for the rehabilitation of a well field for the production of water on a property known as 8 Pup House Road in Windsor. Engineering costs not to exceed $5,000. So moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasad? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. I never knew that that was Pump House Road. We have to check with Jennifer. Huh? We have to check with Jennifer. Right? So it has an address. Yeah. Never knew it. Forty-four years. Never knew it. Oh. <laughs> General Tanner motion. The town Board of Town Moons would adopt the following resolution. Whereas effective July 1st, 2012, the rate for water sales, which do not exceed the allowance. Uh, quantities of water authorized to each municipal corporation or water district pursuant to section 24-36 of the administrative code of the city of New York is expected to increase from $1,213.84 to $32.30 per million gallons. And whereas the water sales which exceed the allowance quantities are expected to increase from 4000 $237.97 per million gallons to $4,532.09 per million gallons. Uh, where is the current water consumption rate for the town of Windsor? It's $4.81 per 100 cubic feet or Six uh, six thousand forty three cents per thousand gallons, and whereas the town board of Town Windsor has determined that it is necessary to increase the water consumption rate charged to the residents of Town Windsor in order to maintain the financial integrity of the consolidated water district and the individual water districts, now therefore be it resolved that the town board of Town Windsor, pursuant to section two eighty seven point thirty five of the town code, hereby amends the standard schedule of fees and establishes. A new water consumption rate in the amount of $5.53 uh, $5 per uh, 100 cubic feet, or $7.40 per 1,000 gallons, 
It would be a further resolve that this amendment to the standard schedule B would become effective June 1st, uh, 2012, building cycle. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. General Tan motion to Town Board of Town Owners appoint David Sherman. 219 Summit Drive, New Windsor, New York, to the Town of New Windsor Planning Board as an alternate effective immediately. So move. Second. Roll. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasati? Yes. Supervisor Green. Yes. General motion Town Board of Town Owners adopt the resolution in opposition to the new wetlands maps promulgated by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. Motion. Move. Second. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Supervisor Green. Yes. General motion Town Board of Town of Windsor. <clears throat> Authorized Schlesinger Steakhouse to dispense alcoholic beverages at Mount Airy Park during the New Windsor Community Day to be held on August 25th, 2012, with a rain date of September 15th, 2012, in accordance with the Town of New Windsor Town Code Section 88-4A. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. <laughs> Shillington motion, Town Board of Town of Windsor, adopt the following resolution. Whereas a certain, uh, certain property within the Town of Windsor, commonly known as 345 Butter Hill, or Butternut Drive, and identified on the Town of Windsor tax maps as Section 80, Block 5, Lot 11, suffered significant damage as a result of Hurricane Irene and Tropical Storm Lee in August, September uh, 2011. And whereas it is the desire of the Town Board of Town of Windsor grant to grant a property tax assessment for a reduction of the 2011 assessment roll as a result of the damage. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board, the Town of New Windsor, authorizes the supervisor, pursuant to Municipal Home Rule Section 40, to request the legislature of the State of New York a special law authorizing the Town of New Windsor to grant a retroactive tax reduction to property currently owned by Robert and Janine Cotman which is located in the Town of New Windsor, commonly known as 345 Butternut Drive, <coughs> identified on the Town of New Windsor tax maps as Block 80, or Section 80, Block 5, Lot 11 for the 2011 tax roll, and that said taxes must be paid within 30 days of the effective date of the requested special uh, legislation. And the Town Attorney is directed to prepare the Home Rule request to be executed by the Supervisor and forwarded to the uh, appropriate legislature. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Owners are receiving file from New York State Department of Environmental Conservation proposed order on consent DEC case number R3 7 Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Owners are receiving file with the Town Clerk. <coughs> Excuse me. A license and permit bond number LSM 0407700 submitted by Bobby Lay, Excavating Incorporated P.O. Box 565 Vales Gate, New York, in the amount of $20,000 effective May 21st, 2012, and expiring on May 21st, 2013. The per uh, purpose of the permit bond is to secure a permit from the town of New Windsor to perform street openings within the town, same being referred to the town attorney and town highway service. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town of Windsor received a file notice claiming the matter of Allstate Insurance Company <coughs> suburb e in, uh, versus the Town of New Windsor. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town of New Windsor received a file with the Town Clerk uh, GASB 45 Actuarial Evaluation Form are for the Town of New Windsor dated uh, December 31st, 2011, received from Summit Actuarial Services, LLC. There are no objections. Town Board of Town of New Windsor receiving file with the Town Clerk. The audit report for the Town of New Windsor from Nugent Hauser and uh, PC certified public accountants for the year ending December 31st. Oh, yes. no, sure. <clears throat> there are no objections. Town Board of Town of New Windsor receiving file with the Town Clerk bids for uh, town vehicles received and publicly opened on 
22nd day of May, 2012. <coughs> you entertain the following motion to the town of New Windsor award bids for the used town vehicles as follows. Pamela Hammond, 19 Rhode Island Avenue, Middletown, New York, uh, for a 1989 Audi uh, A6 in the amount of uh, $857.92. Uh, Liberty Motors, uh, Kennedy Boulevard, New Jersey, uh, Jersey City, New Jersey, bids totaling $7,523.92 for the following, <clears throat> 98 Chevy Malibu, uh, a 2004 uh, Grand Victoria VIN number 2FA HP71W24X1362023. Uh, A 2005 uh, Ford Grand Victoria 2FA HP71W75X1149882. 2005 Ford Crown Victoria 2FA HP 71W, excuse me, 45X 115001. 2007 Ford Crown Victoria VIN number 2FA HP 71707X 125754. A 1996 Mercury Sable 1MELM. 53S3TA657447. 2004 uh, Ford Crown Victoria 2FA FP71W22X128736. A 2002 Ford Crown Victoria 2FA HP71W42X1287. Three seven, Pay, <clears throat> payment shall be made by cash, certified <clears throat> check, or bank check, made available to the town of New Windsor. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo. Yes. Councilman Lundstrom. Yes. Councilman Biasadi. Yes. Supervisor Green. Yes. Well, I think next next year we'll identify it as identified in package number A, <laughs> B, or C. <laughs> Well, there was, just, there was just so many of this, the same kind. I think it was better reading the VIN numbers, but there was no confusion. If everybody remembers the motorcycle incident, you know, where we sold the wrong motorcycle because we were given the wrong <coughs> registration, that was fun to straighten out. Know? General Tim, the following uh, motion uh, adopt the following resolution, whereas the town board of town of Windsor has taken notice a well, non-safe building condition at property located at 345 Butternut Drive, New Windsor, New York, uh, Section 80-511, and whereas the Town Board has followed procedures for unsafe building or collapsed structures local law of the Town of New Windsor by adopting on March 14, 2012, a notice in order pursuant to the Town of New Windsor local law on safe building or collapsed structure, providing notice to the owner as required, and whereas pursuant to Town Code, Section 113, uh, Said notice and order provide, provided the owners Robert Cotman and uh, Jimmy Cotman 30 days in which to demolish and remove the structure, which time period has expired on June 3rd, 2012. And whereas the owners Robert Cotman and Jimmy Cotman have not taken appropriate action regarding the building in accordance with the report to the engineer for the town, and whereas the notice had provided for a hearing on April 4th, 2012, and the hearing has taken place, and whereas the owner did not appear at the hearing. To set forth a request for the delay or otherwise provide mitigating circumstances, and whereas the town board of the town of New Windsor, having duly considered the matter, now determines the subject building should be demolished. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of New Windsor ordered a building located at 345 Butternut Drive, known as Tax Map uh, Section 80, Block 5, Block 11, be demolished and removed by a contractor to be engaged by the town on the provisions of the general municipal law and shall be approved by the engineer for the town and other responsible town officials. And be it uh, further resolved that demolition and removal be accomplished as soon as possible unless the engineer for the town or, or the building and zoning inspector certifies there has been a substantial change in the condition of the premise. And finally, be it resolved that the costs and expenses of demolition uh, and removal shall be assessed against the property located at 345 Butternut Drive 
uh, in accordance with the provisions of the unsafe uh, buildings and collapsed structures of local law in the town of New Windsor and any reimbursement to the town from the Federal Emergency Management Agency be credited towards that cost and expense. Motion. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasai? Yes. <coughs> Supervisor Green? Yes. Hearing no objections, the Town Board of Town Owens are receiving file verified complaint, New York State Division of Human Rights, in the matter of Donald Rosa against the Town of Windsor et al. Do you entertain a motion? Town Board. Adopt the following motion. Town Board of Town Owens are authorized town engineer to prepare bid specifications and authorize the town clerk to advertise a request for a proposal for the demolition and the asbestos abatement of 10 buildings in accordance with the attached list uh, located generally on section 9, block 1, lot 14.2 uh, at Stewart International Airport. And the Town Board of the Town Owens reserves the right to reject any and all bids. Motion. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Chair Lantana, motion Town Board of Town Owens hereby support the application of the fiscal year 2013 Community Development Block Grant hereby authorized funds to be allocated as required to fully fund the Summit Drive project, not to exceed 24% of the total project cost. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. General Tan, Motion Town Board of Town Owners, <coughs> authorized the supervisor to execute construction and permanent easement to Central Hudson Gas and Electric uh, for gas line ins installation on McNary Lane. Said easement subject to language change to permit the town to install future roadway and require gas line reallocation <coughs> necessary. Motion? Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Following reports were received, recorded, and filed with the town clerk. The uh, town clerk's report uh, for May 2012 recreation, May 2012 building department, May 2012 fire prevention, April 2012 police department, April 2012 <coughs> police department, May 2012 Justice Thorpe, uh, May 2012. Justice Calvin in two, uh, May 2012, and tax receiver, water, sewer, and garbage in May 2012. That's that. Court. Anything? Nothing. 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 Public forum. Sir. Uh, I just have a couple of things on the screen. Um, on the, the Butternut Drive uh, road going down, where are you standing on that? Uh, we have uh, submitted the, the uh, uh, project uh, work forms on it. <clears throat> We've done uh, the surveys are actually done on it. Uh, you know, I, I think I told you about the surveys that we were performing last. Yeah, you last did month. a core sample on everything, right? <clears throat> yeah. Core samples that have been submitted to FEMA. Uh, right. Now we're waiting to hear back from FEMA. Yeah. And uh, uh, another thing. Uh, I, I was in touch with uh, Chris, Chris uh, Eaches, mm -hmm. and uh, because of the uh, uh, Fort Hill Road, mm -hmm. that's uh, a county road. Yeah. And um, what I what he told me was, uh, since it's a county road, yep. it, uh, and that bridge has to be completely redone, um, that has to go to a planning board up in Albany first which he could probably take care state, of that part. State highway. The state highway, right. And then uh, from there, if it's approved there, which it will be, uh, it has to go all the way down to Washington, which I was in to touch with. To a federal with, highway. Yeah, I was in touch with Kristen mm -hmm. Gillibrand also. Mm -hmm. And uh, she could take care of that part. But Chris said uh, that uh, if he gets all the information, you know, uh, that he needs there, he could start moving up in Albany on that, on that, that part there. But in the meantime, well, actually, that has to be moved. That has to be moved up in Albany by either an assembly person or a senate person. Yeah. Right. Chris, Chris is a uh, county see. legislator. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, he can yeah. still, yeah. you know, move there. Uh, and um, uh, what we were, uh, uh, in fact, 
I was also in, in touch with uh, Todd Di Diario, uh, the uh, Hudson Valley uh, Building Trades. Yeah. And uh, he says he's been in touch with you also. Yeah, Todd and I have discussed it. And you just did discuss everything with him? Yeah. Okay. But... Uh, also, the traffic uh, that we're running across on uh, Butter uh, Hill Drive. Just yesterday, we had a pretty bad accident on the corner of uh, Butter Hill and 94 with these cars trying to get out. And terrible situation. I still have had no response from the Department of uh, uh, DOT, Department of Transportation. Yeah. Absolutely I, I no response. I was told that they moved so slow, the Department of Transportation moved so slow, that by the time uh, they do anything in, in uh, 94, mm -hmm. that bridge is going to be rebuilt. I would bet on that. You know, so I would bet on it. Yeah, I, I, I have I have called over there, talked to them until I'm blue in the face. Do not get responses. They yeah. they were uh, let's see when when did we first discuss this? Back in October or November? Yeah. I think. Yeah, right. yeah, we first discussed putting up a traffic light. Right. My personal opinion is is that the traffic light the traffic light on Caesar's Lane is probably the better location for it because of all the traffic now you know coming up 9W from uh, you know because they can't use Fort Hill Road. The, that would be the ideal spot to put a traffic light. And, you know, it, it would slow up the traffic, it would, you know, calm the traffic on 94, even at uh, Butter Hill. Well, you could yeah. still move on, on Butternut Drive to start uh, doing that project. In fact, when the uh, area yeah. told me, you know, they could, they could work on that part, mm -hmm. and then you'll still have a, uh, you know, an outlet to Butternut, uh, to Butternut 2, George yeah. Hill, all the way out. Yeah. And then you have another traffic light there. Uh, just the other day, I was uh, trying to get on, onto Caesar Lane from 9W, and there was a tractor trailer coming down 9W, and there was another tractor trailer coming down Caesar Lane. Well, total havoc. No one could make a move because of the two great big tractor trailers. And uh, if someone uh, is coming down Caesar Lane to 9W to try to make a left, and all these other cars behind them, you're there forever. Get Forever, you, you can't get, get out. Through. We we tried to we tried to restrict that that uh, with DOT. Actually, they did cooperate with us. We tried to restrict some some turning down there. It just simply didn't work out. And do you have uh, a person just strictly working on this project, or uh, is it just strictly you? <coughs> you mean from the town? From the town. It would just be my communications back and forth with DOT. With the DOT. Yeah. No okay, the news. highway department doesn't do anything. No, he wouldn't. Uh, he, would that there. he doesn't keep on checking on these no, things. No, he, he, you know, it's it's my office that, that would you know yeah. be trying to push that uh, the traffic light. We need to try. Listen, I came out just for the heck of it. I came came out of uh, well, not just for the heck of it. I came up from 9W. I was down to uh, picking up my car. My right. car was repaired down. You know, he said came up 9W. Or I came across 9W, came up uh, Caesar's Lane. Mm -hmm. It may not seem like a long time, but when you're sitting behind the wheel right. and you have to wait over four minutes to get out in traffic, that's just it. I mean, it is the most frustrating. You know, it is the most frustrating thing in the world. It is. In fact, you know, the other day, uh, one of the police officers was sitting uh, on uh, the in the parking lot mm -hmm. where that Dollar General sort of store is, mm -hmm. and he was sitting right there, and there was a lot of traffic, and I was about the fourth car in line. Mm -hmm. To come out of uh, Butter uh, Butter uh, Butter Hill, rather, yeah. to make a left, and uh, uh, the the three other cars ahead of me, they had a hard time getting out. So when it came up to me, uh, I uh, uh, there was a lot of traffic on the road, and when I went out, I guess this one car was exceeding the speed limit because he came down awful fast. Because I thought I could get out, yeah. I had to slam on my brake, back up, and and the police officer, I mean, he was looking right at me, and I went. What the hell was that? Yeah. You know, and, uh, but, uh, I mean, it's just getting to a point, and uh, with all the traffic, with the buses, especially in the morning, it's, it's, it's almost ridiculous. It's, it's terrible. You know? Yeah, I mean, you cannot, you, you cannot get out of Caesars Lane. You cannot get out of San Diego Drive. Right. You cannot get out of any of the stores close, right. close to there because of the, the volume of traffic. Right. But and, and, still we get, and still we get no response from the DOT. Do you have any time limit on at least butter now? I couldn't tell you. I absolutely could not tell you. I mean, obviously you know it's a big project. It's a yeah. huge project. Do you have bids going out on that? or? Uh, well, do you, you know, it's got to be approved by FEMA before we can Of course, yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, you still have $7 million in, in the kitty for, from FEMA, right, for both, no. both roads? No. 
No, no. there's no there's no kitty. Yeah. They're approved. They're, they're approved as the, the projects are approved. Okay. You know, the, 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 the money is approved. Say, say and, actually, and, and the truth of the matter is, what you don't realize is, is that those are reimbursements. Yeah. We've got to front the money. Well, you don't have to fund the money for uh, for Shell. Well, Fort Shell's got nothing to do with that. So yeah. the county has to front the money for that. The county has to do that. And they got a whole lot more money. Yeah, they, uh, according to FEMA, there they, they need $2 million to rebuild that bridge, the way it's supposed to be rebuilt. And, uh, and that's Chuck and I, uh, Chuck, the, uh, he's the director of uh, the DOT for the county. Right. Uh, we were talking about it, and you know, it's not going to be an easy project. Now, on, on DOT, did they give you any uh, a time limit for these traffic lights to be put up? Or? They don't even respond to me. They promised me that they're going to send over their traffic engineers and get a response. So I wait a few weeks and I call back, what's going on? Well, you know, they're, they're tied up in other projects or, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to send them over. I call, I call our elected representatives at the state level. They call over there. They get the same runaround. Now, listen, when I, when, I, when I say that the state is dysfunctional, <clears throat> trust me, the state is dysfunctional. And the DOT is right at the top of it. Well, you know, we're, we're just, uh, you know, totally frustrated in that development. And uh, sure, you know, I, listen, I can appreciate it. I yeah. try to come up, I try to come out of there myself. Oh, and one, one, just one more thing, and I'll get off the, my, yeah, my soapbox here. But uh, I checked with quite a few businesses. Uh, the, uh, uh, the gas station that uh, Luke Oil, I checked with them. I checked with... Uh, uh, Mama Teresa's, I checked with the uh, liquor stores. I, we, the liquor stores and Mama Teresa's not too bad. But, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I checked with all, a lot of the stores in there, and they're really, really being hurt because that road, there's a lot of people from Cornwall come up through there, and they do business with those people. Oh, there's a lot of and, computer traffic that, that, that uses the Fort Joe Road. You know, that, that's why that's we right. have traffic lights, you know. <laughs> I go back a long time with Fort Chill and 9W before the time of traffic lights. Right. But be because of the commuter traffic, because you know of, of the accidents and things down on 9W is why we got the, the light down there. Mm -hmm. Now all that commuter traffic that used to come up there and, and cross over Fort Chill Road and go on up to 32, right. obviously that's gone. That's gone. It's, it's, you know, and I, I would anticipate that it would be a problem for those stores. Yeah, they, there are. You know, and, uh, they're frustrated also. You know, I told them. Call my office tomorrow. I'll give you the phone numbers to, to, to call your state representatives. Um, I will. I'll tell them. That. Listen, I, will, you know, tell them that. I can't get anywhere. Yeah. You know, I get paid for lip service. I mean, I, uh, uh, Chris uh, each is there. I mean, he, he's pretty. You know, he tried to do as much as he could for me. And same with Chris Gillenbrand, but she's federal. You know. Yeah. What, what are we going to do? Well, federal <laughs> highway has to approve, approve all those plans. Yeah. I know. You know, before FEMA can, you know, even cough up the money for the county. So it's okay. it bogged down in bureaucratic red tape. I know, that's a shame. Too. And believe me, we yeah, suffer from the bureaucratic red tape just, yeah. you know, just like anybody else. Yeah, that's a shame because, I mean, even the people on the, by Caesar Lane, what is that, Custard? No, Custard, but I forgot what that, I don't know, yeah. lost track of all the roads in there. But uh, when it comes out on, uh, from Creamery, mm -hmm. I mean, all those families, I mean, uh, there's so much traffic going through there. There. Yep. And, and you know, and they, and they really don't stop. I swear to God. I, Why don't you do this? How many people, just give, raise your hands, how many people from Butter Hill here? Why don't you do me a favor? This gentleman is saying exactly what I would have said. Yeah. And I applaud him for yeah. what he says. Why don't you, why don't you all do me a favor? Why don't you all do me a favor? Why don't, uh, matter of fact, Mike, would you help him make out a petition? Sure. We'd be happy to sign it. Would be happy to go Would, would you carry it around? Would office? you carry it around the development? Sure. Uh, I guess uh, we need help yeah. for, for traffic. Yeah. Yeah. For traffic, yeah. I mean, First basically. Time they get to it. Sure. We did not sign yeah. up for this. Uh, you're going to be there tomorrow? I'll come up just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in the building. I'm in and out. Just call Jessica. I mean, it's, 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 it's a, a, it's a relatively simple thing to make out of petition. Yeah, like just call Jessica. I think it's a little early. So, you know, here. here. If you can, yeah, you can just get here. Copies out. Okay. Why, why don't you do that? Call Jessica first to make sure. Jessica. I'll, I'll send it. I'll send it to DOT. Yeah. I'll, I'll send it to our elected representatives. I'll send it to DOT in in Albany. Okay. Do it for me. You know. Listen, we're just really totally frustrated. 
<laughs> think how I feel. You yeah, know, we're all frustrated. You, 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 know, you know how frustrating it is? We yeah. haven't had a dime out of FEMA yet. Yeah. And yeah. how much have we laid out so far? How much money have we laid out? Yeah. Uh, Nothing. Zero. Not a dime. No. Not, not a dime. Yes, sir. Back in fall, I began to read about how bridges were being rebuilt back in October, November. The mm -hmm. state was addressing this immediately. Mm -hmm. I think it was a little different than Hill Road and its apples to oranges. Then in spring, I started reading about more bridges upstate that were being built yeah, on right. state roads. I just maybe read. these were town. Maybe they, they were taking care of their own business. Well, let me and just comment on one thing. Then one more thing. Wait a minute. No, then no, I read the floor. Friday, May 25th. Mm -hmm. Venetia, Bridge Street Bridge, one of the end two entrances to yeah. Venetia, will be open today one month ahead of schedule. Another state project. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we pay taxes for here? They pay in, taxes. I expect in, them to get the same service we get. You're, 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 singing, um, you're singing to the to no, I, I know I'm I mean, yeah. But you call the assemblywoman's office, you mm -hmm. get good service. There are emergency traffic signals down by Bear Mountain because of a washout. They mm -hmm. were there within a week. Yeah. There's one in Garrison for the mm -hmm. same reason since the hurricane. Yep. They were there within a week. You go upstate and see emergency traffic signals set up. Mm -hmm. What are we? Yeah. Uh, sure. I found out. What about Senator Larkin's office? I mean, I'm sorry. The <laughs> man, yeah. man may be the whip of the Albany, yeah. but you know, between his pension and his salary, Maybe he's too busy spending his money. No disrespect. That's, but, that's, that's political, and I'm not going to get into that. No, I know. No, no I, have talked, to, I have talked to Bill. He, he, has, he, has, his he has called on our behalf. Okay. I have gotten return calls after he's called. Okay. And the satisfaction from those return calls are exactly what I got when I called. Right. George, so I found out about the bridges. bridges. Yeah. I found out about all the bridges. Uh, do you know, and you can find out, you can, you can check in Albany if you want. Uh, I found out that every bridge in New York State that was damaged by Hurricane Irene is either being repaired now or repaired already, and the only one that isn't, right there. That's it. And that's fact. That's then, you know what I suggest you do? Go out to a county legislator, legislation, legislative meeting, and complain. What's going on? Or call the county executive. Uh -huh. You know, Diane. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah. he's the he, he's, he's he referred me to Chris. <laughs> well, I have no. You know, the problem is, is I have nobody to refer you to. <clears throat> you know, the buck stops with me. You know, the buck should stop with him. If there's a problem, well, then he ought to be addressing it. You now, it's a county road. We have absolutely zero control. I'm as frustrated over it as you are. I see a hand in the back first. Would it make any sense to talk to any of these other towns or stuff that have been successful and maybe on ask the their supervisor on the bridge? What they've done? On the bridge? The, the bridge is a county bridge. There's nothing we can do about it. There, we have absolutely no control, no different than any supervisor in the state of New York. If it's a county bridge, it's a county bridge. You know, I went, I, I went through some of the county projects. Uh, now, I don't want to, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into it. But I did see the same, and I was going to comment on that Phoenicia Bridge. You know, Phoenicia. What's the population of Phoenicia? A couple thousand, maybe. Right? We've got 27,000 people plus probably another 27,000 commuters that come up that road. You know, what do we get? Nothing. If I sound, sound a little discouraged uh, or, or a little angry, one second, just hand them back first. Hi, my name is James Kufus. I'm on the Woodbury Town Board, actually, and speaking to the DOT and sort of dysfunction, we've been fighting the DOT to uh, sort of better time those traffic lights by Woodbury Commons. Yeah. And anyone who's sat there knows you can hit red light after red light, and they come back and tell us that they're optimized, the, U the DOT, that is. Mm. They're as timed as they, as they could be, um, which is crazy. So, uh, and we've had that same discussion with uh, trying to get them down to new projects during return call. It's crazy. They, they, they could have gotten an emergency light up there within days. Yeah. 
but it's just, you know. But the, the reason why I'm here is I want to introduce myself to you town board members and, and the supervisor because I'm actually, I'm glad I'm here with these state issues coming up. I'm looking to represent New Windsor in the assembly this year. And uh, one of the most important jobs for me when I get up there is to have a good working relationship with the town board and, and the supervisor especially. So when you call me in January or I call you, we'll already have developed a relationship hopefully and that's why I'm here to introduce myself and say hi. Thank you. So thanks. Uh, this gentleman up front. Was first. Hello, good, uh, good evening. Uh, I'm from the uh, reserve. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a couple of my neighbors have been here for previous meetings. Uh, just wanted to see where we are today in regards to, I know the May 2nd uh, minutes mentioned that you would try to reach out to Marvin. Uh, wanted to see, I also wanted to extend uh, beyond the independence and Molly Pitcher. I live on Colonist Tr uh, Trail. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't mentioned. Uh, I'm at the very end of Colonist Trail in the cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been there, my wife and I, for almost four years. And, you know, as it stands, you know, our road isn't dedicated. Uh, we have, you know, we don't get any services during the winter time. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, went, I went out there the other day because of, because of the school bus situation. People talk about the school buses. That's exactly so right. I, so I, I went out there. And, but the, the one problem is the roads, some of those roads are actually got off. Yeah, absolutely you're, got off. You're preaching to the choir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you're, you're right. I, you know, not, I, I, you know, I feel sorry for you since you have to ride on some of those roads. But you have to understand, too. We can't dedicate the road until it's top coated, you know, because then then it's going to become our responsibility. And you're talking about a huge amount of money. Now, do we have do we have bond on that? Yes, we have bonds on, on any anything that is not dedicated. We have bonds on. We straightened that all out with with Marvin three years ago. What's possible? To do? We can threaten to take them, and, and you'll yeah, certainly, they you'll certainly get some just, action. Let, let the highway superintendent comment on, on his conversation with Marvin. I talked to him about three weeks ago, and he was supposed to get back to me. I didn't call him once before. He has not got back to me as of yet. Mm -hmm. So that was really the end of it. Yeah. Well, I'll ask you, you know, what can I do? Uh, because believe me, you know, my, right now my son walks well, down the road. and We'll, we'll stand on uh, You know, it's one of those things of, you know, we pay our taxes for various services, and unfortunately we don't get those services. Um, and, you know, it's a little, a little disheartening to hear that, you know, the police won't come, you know, they will if there's an emergency, but, you know, the police won't kind of come down our road to... Well, the police, know, will probably, the police should be patrolling private road. I mean, you're in a development. Uh, uh, you know, that, has is, nothing, that has nothing to do with the, the uh, roads not being dedicated. Uh, between, so, aside for that, yeah. also, you know, when it's winter time, you know, we have to rely on some guy with a pickup truck yeah. and a... Little push plow, you know, to try to get the roads done, and it's just things. Like I will that. tell you this: I will, we will do our, our level best. I, I'm, I'm not going to guarantee you that we are going to be successful in getting them to pave those roads. Mm -hmm. And if there's, if if there's still roads that have uh, open construction, you know, on them, I don't know that we can even take the bond, you know, because then they're going to turn around and destroy the road. But I will do what I can. Uh, I will give you my word that I will most certainly, you know, pursue it. Uh, what's his name? Was in the other day. Mark. Uh, no. Uh, oh, uh, Mark Simon. Yeah, Mark was in. No, well, maybe we can sit down and talk to Mark and threaten well, to take those bonds. Well, uh, yeah, I think that would be effective with with them and just to get them moving. Yeah. Uh, because they they don't want us to pay those bonds. Sure. No, no, they surely don't. But, you know, and the, the other thing, you know, <clears throat> the economy is so bad and they know they can't build any more houses, they can't sell any more houses in there. You know, so, you know, they, they probably have a cash flow problem with, within whatever little corporation they have to, to do that, uh, you know, that, that project. You have my word, I will most certainly push it. I will, Anthony, you and I will get a hold of Marvin tomorrow. Okay, sir. Hi, I've been living in the reserve for almost seven years. Mm -hmm. And I live on Independence Drive. And Independence Drive, the only thing that's not finished is where a trailer is sitting at, at the end of the road on back of the road. And that is the builders of the reserve. That's their trail. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see the purpose of why Independence Road, which is the main throwaway, 
is not dedicated yet? Or what can you actually do to push Marvin to have those roles? That, that world does not have a top code all the way through independence. Right. It's, it's not the, all the way through. What I'm saying is this. It's been finished for so long and it doesn't have a top code. What can you do as a board to push this through? Well, we, we, we can push the developer and I, I guess we can threaten to take the bond at this point. Uh, you know, how that, that's what I'm saying, you yeah. know, because what happens is we, we call Marvin, Marvin is not returning the call. So what can be done for Marvin, you know, to put, to put a fire under him? Can he be fined? Can, can something happen? The, 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 there, there is no fine for, for that, you know, for, for not, not completing the top code until, you know, the development's done. Uh, however, we, we can threaten to take the, take the bond and do it ourselves. That might be the better choice. Yeah. And, and, and it may be, we still have, all those bonds are in place. We're 100%. I mean, I haven't looked recently, but they come up on, on the normal diary, George. And if they were expiring, I'd know them. So. All right. I will, we will call them tomorrow. Uh, we'll make a conference call to them. And I will tell them straight out, fix the roads, or we're going to start moving on taking the bonds. You know, that's the best I can tell you. And believe me, you know, I took it. Because of Mount Airy Park, you know, I, that's sort of my pet project. I, I'm out there a lot. And I agree with you, the roads are ridiculous. And, you know, seven years is a long time not to, you know, two or three years is, is kind of normal. It's kind of normal to get a top coat in a big development. Two or three years, you know, uh, you people down in Butter Hill, you know, didn't get your top coat probably for a good three years. Uh, but, you know, seven years, yeah. I will get involved tomorrow and I will call Marvin and tell him either move on it or we're moving to take the bottom. Thank you. One, one of our main concerns, I, I know for me, I have young girls that have to go to the end of the road, the end of Bethlehem Road, especially in the winter time when it's not even light out. Yep. It's dangerous. We have people running, trying to get past the bus while the bus is there and kids are getting on the bus and getting off the bus. It, it's, it's, it's actually a danger in the community for, for our kids to actually be on that Bethlehem Road waiting for, for a bus. Well, seven years is a little long wait. Let me put Pete out there, too. He was there last week? Okay. All those schools out now, so. Almost. No, not quite. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Elementary school. Yeah. Anyone else? One question. Does anyone have any updates on what's happening with that major water problem that we have up there? Water's pouring into the storm drain out this uh, hybrid drive. I know the people from the town were out there last week walking the property trying to locate it. But I have seen nothing happening since then. A lot of water. Yeah, they went out there. Thousands didn't... of gallons of water pouring into that storm drain every day. From where? They, they... Didn't seem to be able to find it. I got a report here that says they didn't well, find well, it. Well, we're just going to just let it continue to, to go. Not what? Not going to do anything to try to find it? I'm asking. Where is it, Bert? Pardon? Where is it? It's, it's coming out in the storm drain on Highwood Drive, up the top of the hill. You stand there and you look down, it's clean water and it's pouring in by thousands of gallons every single day. So it's drainage. Right? It's strange. It's going where it belongs. It's, it's got to be a, 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 a pipe that burst somewhere. Even the people from the town, the guys who are up there walking, said that there's a problem, a line has burst. They never said any such thing, Bert. Right? I have every single report here. Well, that's what the man every said. single report and every single complaint. Trying to find the break in the line. I, that's what the man said. I have every single report on every single complaint okay. that, that you put forward. Yeah. Not one of them has been founded. Not one is what? Not one is founded. So, I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm looking down and I'm seeing a water pouring through in there. It's strange. Okay, fine. Thank you. Anyone else? Chair on a motion to close the public forum. Mm -hmm. Second. Mm -hmm. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Gaston? <coughs> yes. Supervisor Gray? Yes. Motion to adjourn. So I'll move. Second. Councilman D'Angelo? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom?
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, we got the Yeah. I got to stretch this out.